true crime podcast where best friends and next door neighbors, Willow and Lillian, spill the tea on murder, mysteries, and other things that go bump in the night. So get your favorite teacup ready and let's get into it. Welcome to Cruelty Podcast. This is Lillian, and with me is Maris. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maris Monday. Hello, yeah. Yeah. So I hope you guys are doing good. Pause. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> good radio. Yeah. Okay, so today, we're, we, you know, I figure we talk a lot about aliens on this podcast because aliens are rad. Yeah. But we talk about them. We don't talk to them. Is that fair? Do we have one here to interview? Or? No, absolutely not. Oh. No, we don't need the government to discuss, I mean, disclose when we can like just totally talk to aliens ourselves. Okay. That's right. There exists a method to directly talk to aliens, and it doesn't even have to include tinfoil. Yeah? I'm going to get it anyway. I'm just, I mean, you know, unless you're feeling festive as I'm fuck. traditional. You are. You are a traditional Traditional, man. yeah. So, how do we do this? Sit back, little tea bag. I'm about to tell you. <laughs> Take a dunk in the hot coffee. Or wait, no, the tea, tea, tea. Water. Yeah, I actually. messed this all up. What have you done? I really ruined the flow. <laughs> 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 you sure did. So what we're going to do, the method we're going to use to contact aliens is called the CE5 protocol. Mm-hmm. And yes, I know that sounds like I made it up, but someone else made it up. So get mad at them. Okay. CE5 stands for Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. I was wondering what it stood for. Yeah. So what the fuck does that mean? Well, there are five kinds of close encounters with aliens. The first kind is when you see a UFO in the sky or on the ground, mm-hmm, I guess. Mm-hmm. There it is. Yep. Yeah, that's it. You just see it. You just fucking see it. Okay, that's number one. The second kind is where you see evidence of a UFO, like scorch marks or indents in the ground. Okay. The third kind is where you can see the occupants of the craft, so the little buddies. All right. Now, that doesn't mean like up close or anything. You can see them like in a field or in their shed. But you've seen a guy. But you're seeing the guy. Yeah. Yeah. The fourth kind is when they touch you, like to probe your butthole. Wow, that is too close. That is too close. The fifth kind, which is what we're fucking talking about, is where you communicate with them, either verbally or telepathically. You don't think getting probed is communication? I mean, they not if they ain't talking. I guess. I mean, they're saying something, but I don't like it. They're communicating with their probe in my butt. Right now? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to, like, this method will teach us how to telepathically communicate with aliens and how to summon UFOs. Okay, so our dream of smoking a blunt with an alien. No, but smoking a blunt may be included. We'll get into that in a minute. Okay, okay. So all you use for this is a couple items and your big teabag brain. Shut up. (laughs) Now, I will discuss the method today, but it won't end there. Yeah. Oh, no. No? I'm going to do the CE5 protocol for a week. Okay. Next week, the next Maris Monday, Mm -hmm. will be my results. All right. Is it all role play? Is it talking to yourself? Yeah. I mean, probably, yeah. Yeah. But shut up. All right. Now that we know what it is, how do we do it? Okay, so this is basically a self-guided meditation protocol that was invented by a guy named Stephen Greer. And I'm going to talk about it. I'm not going to call him a doctor. Mm-mm. He is, but I'm not going to call He's him like a chiropractor? Or, no, or he used to be an emergency room doctor. Okay. But not for very long. Because he got on the UFO hype train and now he's a grifter. Uh, He's been a proven liar many, 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 many times. However, Reddit tells me that his CE5 protocol actually fucking works okay okay that it's pretty easy to do and so i thought well i don't want to give stephen greer any money Mm. and i don't want to encourage my listeners to give him any money Mm because he's a shithole and he looks weird that's true his skin looks like the top layer was scalded off at all times yeah 
And he's very shiny and greasy, and he looks like he's just roided he up. He does have snake eyes. There's no life in Sam no. or empathy or kindness. I'm talking so much mad shit. Stephen Greer, I'll fight you. Yeah, well, he could sue us, and we have zero dollars. Go ahead. That's you can't. Like... You can't. You can't kill that which is already dead. That's right. You yeah. can't get blood fr- from a stone. Yeah. Or from my empty bank account. Yeah. There's just little moths in there flying around. I don't even. Th- I think the moths are gone. I don't they, even think we got moths. They got hungry and went away. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing to eat yeah. there. So basically, he used to be an emergency room doctor. Some I don't know how he got into this, but now people tell him UFO secrets according to him. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So I'm going to tell you how all this works so you don't have to look at his weird, stinky head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, according to Greer, this is best done in a group so the aliens can feel like wanted, I, I guess. <laughs> 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 they 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 need to feel themselves. <laughs> oh, I'm making this weird. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're shut in, so no group for us. No, there's just two of us. But I feel like my brain, like my big brain and my big titties, are enough. That's true. That is. That's how I got there. And that's if they're not, here. well, your bitch ain't about to go chasing after these scrubs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh. Uh-uh. So here's what you will need: an open mind. <laughs> A flashlight or laser pointer. <laughs> so they can see you. <laughs> yes. And a notebook for journaling, like a big dork. But before we all go outside at night and be big fools, we need to meditate. But you can meditate outside, and you probably should. Right. So I will include a playlist. Um, it's going to be in the de- linked in the description. Uh-huh. and Because the meditation is the most important part. And this is a guided CE5 meditation. Uh-huh. It's 30 minutes long. And it has a nice Australian lady going, uh, <laughs> with like nature sounds. And like, shwa, woo, shwa, 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 shwa. And it's very lovely. Like, seriously. So even if we don't contact aliens, we'll all be relaxed and shit. I don't know if you're supposed to use a bunch of weed or not, but I'm super going to. That's how we do anything. Like, even if we're just doing laundry, we're like, do you think it's a good idea to get high? And we're like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm going to, like, go ahead and do uh, do the dishes. I'm going to be stoned. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If it's something I'm doing... Unless it's like talking to the police. No, oh, that's a bad be... time. Don't ever okay, talk to them. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys a funny story before we start this proper. Is the first time that I smoked marijuana, mm-hmm. I was 14. I was at a friend's house to spend the night. And my friend was like, hey, do you want to smoke weed? And I didn't want to tell her I had never smoked weed before. You know, I, I was in the same situation. I yep. was like, oh, no, I, I am a noob. And they will think I am a nerd. Yep. And so I was like, yeah, I want to smoke weed. I smoke weed every day. Yeah, I am weed, Ugh, <laughs> yeah. obviously. Cut me and nugs fall out. Uh-huh. You know? And so we smoked a joint. And nothing happened. Like, I didn't feel anything. So right. I just kept going. Oh, that's a bad idea. It's it was creeper. <sighs> Oh my God, I was the highest person in the world. Yeah. I was so scared. Like the whole time I was like, I am going to die. Right. She made me eat toast with milk on it. I don't know why. It was what gross. the hell is that? She I put, mean, that's like a half done French toast. It was like a, it, she put some, she called it milky toast. No. It was just soggy bread with the edges is crunchy. I hated it. It made me want to puke. Yeah, gross. But then I was so hungry and she said, hey, my friend Jacob is coming to get us to take us to Taco Bell. And I was like... That's way better than wet bread. And my brain didn't realize like, the dangers, because it's 14. I sh- mm-hmm. My mom and dad didn't want, want me going off with some 17-year-old boy named Jacob to Taco Bell while stoned. I think it's a... It's, I mean... <laughs> It was fine. <laughs> yeah. I was in the back seat and they were playing like music, but kind of low. And I was like, this classical music is so beautiful. <laughs> and then Jacob turned it up and it was like hardcore gangster rap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I am so high. I love so that. We got fucking Taco Bell and I ate that shit in the car. And I was like, you know what? Being stoned is pretty much the best thing that's ever happened to me. I could totally have like three bean burritos right now. Hell yeah. Bean, yeah. The, the soft ones. Just a little, burrito. just a little burrito. You just know? a little warm guy. Just a little one. You just kind of hold it up to your face. You're like, oh, you're so warm. I just need a little guy. He's soft. It's, it's a little bit like food. an alien itself when you think about it. <laughs> Let me uh, cuddle up to you. This is the yeah. stonedest episode we've ever done. I'm not completely sober. I'm not. Am I? Wait, no, no I'm not. Okay, never mind. Um, Yeah, so anyway, we pull into my friend's driveway 
There are 400 police cars. <gasps> oh, and no. I immediately, <laughs> like, I, I'm almost just like, I'm going to shit my pants. Oh, I'm the Taco cry. Bell is gone. Throw up. I am not happy anymore. No. Tummy hurts. Yep. Heart is exploding. And my friend grabbed the front of my jeans, oh. pulled them open, shoved an entire <gasps> bag of weed in my underpants. Oh and my she God. said, be careful. I mean, if you're going to put it on the minor, that's some that's some thinking. Well, she was 14 also. Why oh. did she put it down her own fucking underpants? Good point. Good point. But I'm a mother. bad influence. Nobody should listen to this podcast. No. And so I get out of the car, and of course I'm kind of walking funny because there's a big bag of weed in my pants. Yep. And the police officer comes right up to us, and he's like, you want to explain where you've been? And I was like, Ta- Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. And he's like, why'd you go there? I was like, oh, Food. Hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, you're not old enough to drive. I was like, he drove. I didn't do it. <laughs> right. And then my mom steps out from behind the cop. So every bad thing is happening. That's <laughs> just like a cartoon. <laughs> there she is. She was like, Bew. and yeah. I was like, no. But she was the one in trouble. Oh. Not me. Very good. She had, okay. She had called my friend's house. This is the time before cell phones. Uh-huh. He didn't answer, obviously. My friend's mom was a nurse at night, so she was asleep and didn't answer the phone. So my mom thought I was dead because she was really drunk. Ah. And she drove there drunk and ran into somebody's car and mailbox. Yep. Her car was in my friend's yard. Yeah. And she went to jail. Mm -hmm. And I got to stay there. And then I was grounded for 300 years. But nobody knew I was high. That's a stressful story. It was so stressful. Okay, so back to to Aliens. Yeah. Yay! So in the meditation, you ask the aliens to come visit you. Okay. You offer peace and love and the desire to communicate. And it's nice. I mean, whatever. So my plan is to do 30 minutes a day at night starting Mm -hmm. tomorrow. I will let you guys know if I saw any, like, fucking aliens next week. And I challenge you guys to join me and try it for yourself. And if you have any luck, please email me. Even if you don't have luck, I just want to know about it. I figure even if nothing happens, I will feel relaxed and spending time outside is nice. Well, the expectation is usually people see like weird star stuff, I'm about right? To tell, yeah. About to get into all okay, of that. Okay. Right, You're not right. going to have like a little dude walk up on no, your back. No. I mean, if you do, that's rad, I think. Maybe. Oh, that would be so rad. Or I'd scary. I'd the fuck out and beat his ass. I'd be scared, kind of. So after the meditation, what comes next? Well, you get your laser pointer. And let me start with my disclaimer. If you live in a city, don't fucking do this. Don't. Don't put a laser pointer in the sky. You could hit a plane and that can fuck up their sensors mm-hmm. and then you're going to go to jail They forever. will find you. People, they have been they, found they for that. They will hunt you down. So just mm-hmm. use a flashlight. Yeah. Okay? But if you're rural in the country like me where there are literally no planes, I never see planes. Like Mm-mm. maybe once uh, a month there'll be like a little plane up there. There are no helicopters even though I say that and I just heard one not too long it, ago. Yeah, but it's it's it, it's the life uh, life flight. Yeah, for all the olds that die yeah. around here. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And so I'm going to get a laser pointer tomorrow. And anyway, so after your meditation, you point your light up in the sky. And like, if you're using a flashlight, like blink it three times. Mm-hmm. If you're using a laser pointer, you can blink it or like do a little circle in the sky. And sometimes the light appears in between where you're circling. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then you can signal with your pointer or flashlight. Okay. It's pretty easy. So what do you signal? Like SOS? No. Bring some bring some cookies, please. Bring some space weed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you're going to gaze up at the sky and project all your loving, open butt energy and desire to talk to aliens. And you can't be scared. So, like, don't uh-huh. be. You flash your flashlight and shit. And it, you can just, like, usually what happens is people will see little lights in the sky move. Mm-hmm. And they'll make like 90 degree turns and they'll like do Like it looks loops. like a star, but it, it's not moving like a yes, star. Yes, but some people just see bright flashes of light, like lightning, even mm-hmm. though it's not storming out. And it's not satellites. We know the fucking difference. Yes. I mean, you can, there, there's some apps and I'll include links to them where you can see what's in the night sky to make sure you're not seeing a satellite or like the Starlink. ISS. Starlink is a common one. Or Starlink, but you, you'll know the difference if you look up at the sky long enough. And so... Don't bus- but don't be scared if you see some like sometimes people see like sparkles mm-hmm. like by their faces and stuff. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah. Some people have seen li- literal like energy light beings. Ooh. I want to see that. Uh. I'll be like, "Where's the space cocaine?" <laughs> yeah. You know? 
why not? They've got to have space drugs, right? Right. So, yeah. Now, like I said, you should be able to feel their presence also, according to what I've read. Okay. And people do have quite a lot of success with this on Reddit. Not every time. No, that's why I'm giving it a whole week, right? Right. So, yes, this is a short episode, but I just thought it would be cool to give this a shot. Okay. And to kind of do a little experiment here on the podcast, like investigative journalism. We're just going to go out on our deck. High out <laughs> as balls yep. and try and talk to aliens. Yep. And I just think that's cool. And also I'm 45, a little embarrassing, but whatever. I think it's fine. We it's all need fun. hobbies. Yeah, it's fun. So now I just want to talk really cool about a new feature that I'm adding to Patreon. <laughs> what, so cool. what is it? I didn't know about this. Uh, yeah. So if you go to our Patreon, you will be able to pur- purchase what is called a commission episode. And what that is, is you can tell us to do an episode on anything. And you can have the host be me and Maris or me and Willow uh-huh. or me, Maris and Willow or right. just Willow or yeah. just me, Maris or just me. Yeah, okay. Any combo. And it can be about anything you want, not just true crime or paranormal stuff. We can do history. We can do weird, weird thing. We can do a movie review. I just mm-hmm. ask that if it's movie reviews and you want Maris to do it, do not include like heavy violence or gore. He does not like that. I just don't like it. No, it freaks him out. And we're it's not going to gross. Be mean. It's yucky. Yeah, I mean, I'll watch anything. Yeah, and have I've watched uh, like fucking what's the name of that movie? Serbian film. Nope, I won't do anything like that. Yeah, that's disgusting. But Mm-mm. I'm I've watched Cannibal Holocaust. I, I ain't watching no Saw. You can't make me. Oh, Saw is nothing compared to Cannibal Holocaust. Well, I don't I don't want to see any of it. No, but I'm just saying like anything like we can do personal stories. We I don't care how obscure the topic is. I'll research it really good and we will deliver your episode in 5 to 7 business days. All right, we can yeah. do it. Yeah. And you don't even have to be a member to do this, by the way. Mm -mm. Like, if there's a case, you are literally dying to have us cover. Do you want us to whore out on something? We'll do it. Yeah, I'll I'll whore up. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. uh Yeah. So, yeah, another thing that you'll be able to do starting next week, like, like, actually, I'm going to probably make it, like, December. That is next week. Starting in December, you can purchase individual Patreon-exclusive episodes, even if you're not a patron. Cool. Cool. Yes, and you can just down it'll it'll then allow you to download it from Patreon. So I'm going back and like putting that feature on all the episodes, and each episode's five bucks. So that's awesome. It's cheaper to join, but I get maybe you don't want to do a record like a recurring thing, and you just want to listen to this one or two episodes, and that's cool. Yeah, so that's why I'm adding this feature. I think it makes it more flexible and more fun. And I don't know. I I like. Being told what to do, that's fun mm-hmm, also. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys and seeing what you think of these new features. Wee. Yeah. But yes, so next week, I will, at the start of Maris Monday, it's not going to be the whole episode, mm-hmm. I will give you an update on my success and or failure at seeing aliens. All right. UFOs or whatever. And I will do a more in-depth kind of report on Patreon, and that will be exclusive to our members. That yeah. might even, inc- I'm going to pick, I'm going to try and take pictures too. That's so. cool. And video. So I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Other than that, uh, I don't have any business time, but Maris, why don't you tell us about your other podcast? Well, it's reality with your host, me, Maris, and I am watching stuff and you get to listen about it. And what I, are you, what are you watching? Well, I, I watch reality TV and sometimes I watch movies or something and then I just write down what I'm thinking as I'm watching it. Yeah, and you can you can request Maris to watch a movie if you now request is being the optimum word here. I have the right to refuse service. That's right. Yeah. But not if you pay him. Yeah, and then I don't have the right to refuse service. So if you want to pay Maris to watch something, reality uh, and and like put up the episode there, that's where you can do it. Yeah. Oh, and commissioned episodes on Patreon, they're just for you. Like just whoever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, guess yeah, your yeah, private. Yeah. That is for episode. you. Yes, you I will can send listen it to it when you. you're sleeping. Yeah, and then over and over again, obsessively over and, over and again, weirdly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's all the business time I have for today. Uh, thank you guys for indulging my absolute bonkers weird shit that I do. I appreciate it. You are appreciated. If you're on the Ube of tubes, then please like do all f- f- like whatever they tell you to do. To all the right, buttons, right. Follow fondle, the directions. Yeah. Fondle the subscribe button. 
beat the shit out of the like button. Yeah. Comment nicely because it's against the law to be mean to me. Or just have your cat comment. So just make a bunch of Fs. You could just stuff. type fart, fart, fart. fart I don't thing. care. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, if you type fart, 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 I actually would like that. I'll yeah. heart it. Yeah. Doop. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if all you can do to support this podcast, though, is listen. Thank you. It's nice. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye. Us on your social media platform of choice. Linktree slash cruelty has all of the links. Check out our Patreon for exclusive episodes, merch, ad-free episodes, live ghost hunts, and much more. Please be sure to subscribe. New episodes are uploaded weekly. Thank you so much. See you next time. Music and production by Libby.